Hmm. Huh? What is this room? Where the heck am I? I know, I'm in Japan. Last night I achieved my dream of coming to Japan. It's not a dream, this is totally real. I'm in Makoto and Akira's house in Japan, and today I'll get to look all around the city of Tokyo, which means I can't afford to sleep in. I better get up fast. But first... Bathroom. Bathroom. Japanese toilets can be, can't be so different from... Or maybe not. What the heck is this thing? All these random buttons? What am I supposed to do? Oh, nothing venture, nothing gain. Okay, I'm gonna push one. It's not like it's gonna explode on me or something. Okay, here we go. Switch on. Hmm. What is this? It's like a warm breeze blowing up from deep inside. Why does a toilet blow wind at me? Okay, I'm gonna press another switch. Take this. Huh? What the? Now there's a nozzle rising up <laughs> inside. <laughs> what the heck? There's water, water shooting out. Someone make it stew. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> you don't have to laugh so hard. But, but, I wasn't expecting to cry just stress early in the morning, let alone to find you drowning in the toilet. There's no way I can keep from laughing. Oh, Aki-chan, really, it's rude. Me, <laughs> you laugh so hard. You're the one talking, you're laughing too, Oni-chan. Oni-chan means older sister. What are you talking about? I'm not laughing at all. What was I supposed to do? I don't think, I don't know anything about all those toilet functions. Why would I have thought a toilet would wash your butt after you've done your business? They even blow hot air to dry your Japanese people have crazy ideas, but once I used it, it really did feel kind of nice. I'm sorry for laughing, everyone makes mistakes. It's okay, now that I think about it, it really was pretty funny. Sure, it's not best to hold back and laugh when something's funny. That's right, and it's nice to see her laugh after she was so put out yesterday. Anyway, here you go. I made breakfast for both of you. Hooray, honestly, I've been starving ever since I woke up. Let's see, the breakfast menu is, oh, salad, bread, and eggs, this is. I was kind of hoping for a more Japanese-style healthy breakfast, but I thought you might prefer a more familiar breakfast, but what do you think? Oh, um, sure, that's right, this is what is about what I usually eat, thanks. Well then, I guess we'll eat. Sure, we say, yep, 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 that, yep. Oh, speaking of which, what do you want to do today? Have it decide? Have you decided where you want to go? Where I want to go? No, I'm starting to think about it later. Where do you recommend? To be honest, I was thinking maybe Akira and I, or I might accompany you. What? Just the two of us? Yes, one of us could take care of the house with our parents away, so we could bo couldn't both go. But yeah, we're on break from school right now, so it shouldn't be a problem for Oni Chan or I to take you around. Seriously, that's great. I would appreciate the help. Hmm, I'm glad you think so. So I know it's sudden, but where would you want to go? Hmm, let me see where I would like to go. Oh, I know. First off, Odin chan can I have a minute? What is it? Just come here. Ah, uh, you just stay put for a second, okay? Um, sure. Well, there they go. What was that all about? Oh well, I guess I'll just have to wait for them. They told me to wait, but it's been five minutes. What on earth are they doing? Sorry about that. Sorry for the wait. Oh, there you are. What on earth? Ta-da! Welcome to Masaki Tours. Um, what's with the outfits? This is what our tour guys wear when they show people around. It really gives it that touristy air, you know? Oh, honestly, Aki-chan, did you make these clothes while I wasn't watching? <laughs> um, you make those clothes, Akira? Yep, that's right. She must be really skilled to make things like this. Hmm, I guess Aki-chan was so looking forward to your visit, she even made tour, <laughs> tour guy clothes. <laughs> that's not it. That's not why I did it. Oh my, you're blushing. Akira, I said I'm not. Anyway, let's pick our itinerary. Did you decide where you want to go? Oh yeah, more or less. Okay, then where would you like to choose a region? A region? Let's see where I want to go. In this game, your travel expenses will be shown on the screen as you travel. The train fare will also be shown on the screen. For convenience, all travel expenses between Makoto and Akira's house or in sightseeing spots will use the same fare as traveling between Tokyo Station and sightseeing spots. I have no idea what any of that just said. Yeah, we're going there. I want to go here. Wow, if you're going there, I'll take you. You, Akira? What's wrong? You you want it, Oni-chan? That's not it. I just don't have any problems going with you. It's fine. No need to force yourself. I'm not forcing myself. I'm really happy if you show me around, Akira. Hmm, I see. Very well, then. I suppose I'll just do that. Anyway, you pack up for the day, and I'll get ready for you, too, okay? Gotcha. I thought Akira might be in a bad mood again for a minute there. Thank goodness we avoided it. 
if we're going to spend the whole day together, I'd like us to have fun. But I can't just stand here thinking about it. I better pack. Shall we be off? Sure. Oh, how do you mind if we stop by a... Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, a convenience store, you mean? Sure, I don't mind. Thanks, we'll stop by the one at the station. A ritual greeting used by shop employees when a customer enters the store. They've got books and food and magazines, even some clothing! This is nothing like a convenience store in my country! They're awesome! What are you looking at? Um, I didn't mean to hit that. There's just so much more for sale than I expected! The whole world is amazing! Oh my god, everything! I mean, look at this! They sell little cakes and even food! Food? Oh, you mean the bento? Bento, a single portion box lunch made at home, or boxes take out. Bento! I never knew there were so many types of bento! Yeah, the bento you buy at Company are also known as Company Bento. There's lots of different types, and they have a new lineup every week or so. There are some people that will get along eating nothing but these. A new lineup every week? That's amazing! That's unthinkable in my country. Hmm, this is... Whoa, what's wrong? This is a figure from a popular anime. Do Japanese convenience stores even sell these things? You buy a lottery ticket for 500 or 1,000 yen and get the figure it says. Oh, so you win these in a lottery. Um, but can't you lose in a lottery? You can't lose in a lottery. You might not get exactly what you want, but you'll always get something. Oh, I see. As long as we're here, do you want to try it? Um, sure, let's try it. Hmm, gotta get money out of my wallet. Oh, here, let me give you a tip. Tip? What is it? You remember Asuka that you used to ride a train? You can use that to buy stuff in certain company too. Well, seriously? Yep, yeah, why don't you give it a try? Um, I look at taking in the lottery. That will be 500 yen. I'd like to pay with my Suka. Please hold it up to the terminal. Wow, I see it has Suka written on it. And I guess I hold my card just like, <laughs> like at the station. Wow, it works. It's amazing. I can really pay with my Suka card. Really? Please pull out... Pull, pull one lot from the box. Ah, sure. Ah, here we go. Is it? Is it? Let me see. I'm so nervous. An F prize. Your prize is a plastic folder set. A plastic folder set? The F prize must be the lowest prize possible. It's not bad, but... I really want a figurine. Okay, I'm gonna try once more. Excuse me? Stop! Huh? Let me remind you our day is just getting started. Do you really want to have to lug more stuff out to our destination? Uh, I understand how you feel, but save it for later, okay? You're right. Oh well, I'll just have to come back here while I'm in Japan. Thank you. Anyway, the lottery is cool, but beyond that, I'm more and more impressed by all the things that you can buy with Suka. There's a vending machine over there. It has a Suka mark on it, too. I see you can even buy drinks from vending machines with this. Isn't it amazing? As long as you have a charge on your card, you can make do even if you forget the rest of your wallet. No kidding. I can't believe a single card will let you ride the trains and buy things too. There are some cell phones that have Suka built into them. Oh, you mean if you carry your phone around, you don't even have to use a wallet? Yeah, it's a convenience thing. It's a com it, it is convenient, but it also feels like Japan is such an advanced country. Hmm, that sound. Oh no, Akira! What is it? What's wrong? That's down the train. We have to hurry or miss it. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. We don't have time for that. Come on, let's go. Uh. Ah, we missed it. Look, I don't know why you're so upset. There's nothing to worry about. The next train will be here any minute. Oh, really? Yeah, so look at the train schedule. The next train comes in five minutes from now. Ah, you're right. So here it is. So let's get on board. Ah, uh, sure. The train really came exactly five minutes later on the dot. I've heard the Japanese rail system was amazing, but I didn't know it was this amazing. My country could learn a little thing from this. I love the train animation. <laughs> uh, here we are. This, you mean the place we're exploring today is... That's right, we're in Akihabara. Akihabara? Akihabara is like the holy land for anime and manga fans. That's right, this is... Um, I thing over there, is that a maid? Whoa, look at that over there, and one over there too! The internet said that I could meet maids at, in a... <laughs> I never thought there'd be so many! A ritual Japanese introduction. Hmm, what? She handed it over, so I took a look without... I took it without thinking. It fits in the palm of my hand, a tissue pack. Was she giving this to me? Ah, oh, wait a minute, maybe the maid girl is interested in me. Sorry to burst your bubble, but she's just giving that to you as a free advertisement. Huh? Advertising? Free? What? Yeah, now that she mentions it, she's giving them to everyone. I guess I'm not really special after all. What? Nothing. 
Were you saying she gave it to you for some special reason or something? Uh, what are you talking about? I wouldn't think that. Hmm. I wonder about that. I really didn't. Anyway, where are you going to take me now? I'm not sure. Why don't we just take a walk around the town first? Okay, let's go. Hmm, wow, this is... Yep, this is Akihabara's main prominent. There are buildings lined up both sides. It seems so busy. Speaking of which, you don't smoke, do you? No, I don't. Why do you ask? Lately, more places in Tokyo are banning smoking on the streets. Jiyota District, of which Akihara is ba part of, is one of those. If they find you smoking out here, you could get a fine, so I just figured I'd check. I see. It's that way in America and Europe, too. More and more parts are cracking down on smoking, it seems. That's true. Anyway, now that I look at it, nearly all the stores here are electronic stores. That's amazing. There really are a lot of electronic stores. That's why they call Akihabara the electric town. Electric town? Why are there so many electronic stores here? You know about Edo? Edo. That was the name of Tokyo back in the days of the samurai. The era was called the Edo period. Have you heard of it? The Edo period. Well, it's no big deal if you haven't. Anyway, there were a lot of fires in Tokyo back in the day. These was th this was an open section of land designed to deter the spread of fire. Around the time they built a shrine to Akiba de Gungan, the god of fire prevention. So the area was called Akiba no Harappa. The Akiba Plains, which was shortened to Aki uh, Akibahara, and eventually Akihabara, which was, well, okay, there we go. Flash forward a month later, by the time World War II ended, the whole area was scorched earth, but a lot of radio parts stores were began opening up in the area. From there, electronic stores began building up around them until it became a town full of household appliances. I see, even Akihabara was a long history behind it. But even the electric town image is changing these days. Lately, it's becoming more of an otaku town. Otaku. Dedicated fans of anime, games, and manga. That's true. If I had to choose, I'd say there's more of my image of it. That's more of my image of it, too. And the more we walk around, the more I see stores that, like, popping up. Wow, that's gotta be an anime store. As long as we're here, you wanna go in? Oh, that's sure. You wanna go in, right? So why not? Well, if you don't mind, why would I mind? Come on, let's go. Sure. Whoa, the store is full of anime goods. It's like a dream come true. Come on, stop making a scene. Whoa, I know this anime. Whoa, and look at this thing. You have, you have to stop acting so amazed at everything. That store is full of doujinshi. Doujinshi? You mean doujinshi doujinshi? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, but probably the magazines that they sell at the comic market. I knew it. Wow, I've heard about it, but I never thought they would be actual stores that sell doujinshi. Hey, let's go. <sighs> Fine, I get it. Stop pulling my arm. Wow, this is a Jinji. <laughs> I never thought they really existed. Wow, they even have anime books. Wow, this is amazing. Huh, you really are hopeless. You're like a child. Hey, let's go to that floor. Oh, wait a minute. That's... Oh, what is this place? Wait, is this adults only? No way. This is all... Come on, cut it out. Don't take me into a place like this, you idiot. Sorry. Come on, this is completely humiliating. Sorry, I, I didn't know it was there. Ugh. It was amazing to see, though. All those books were, well, you know. Maybe if I have time, I'll come back here on a sly and have a closer look. What? You were just thinking about coming back here on your own later, weren't you? What? I, I was not thinking that. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> Akira's pretty sharp. Well, anyway, let's walk around the area a little bit more. Ah, uh, sure. I know. Do you remember that big building in front of the station? It was built just a few years ago. There are a lot of restaurants inside it. Past that, there's a store where you can try... To make a yeah that yep oh you know um after recording um that doesn't make it much clearer you know after recording after recording uh, what about that don't you understand you know when a voice actor does the voices for an anime or something you know oh you mean post recording post recording when a voice actor records a character's voice for an anime it's called post recording in a manner ADR Really? Then why do we call it that? After <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. This is why I can't stand, <laughs> stand English. It's not like it's English's fault, but telling her that would be like sticking my hand into hot oil. Anyway, you can do... Yeah, there. You got it? Oh, that sounds interesting. Doesn't it? Now, as we go down the street, we'll start to see more and more Fasokan parts stores. What is that, Akira? Personal computer, you know that, right? Yeah, it's a personal computer in English, though usually we just call them computers for short. Really? Then why isn't just after recording? He's still on about that. Hmm. 
Well, we walked a lot. Yeah, I'm beat. Would you like to take a break somewhere? Sure. Sure. So where should we go? Let's see. I know. I'll tell you when we get there. Come on. Let's go this way. Um, what's going on? Where is she taking me? This way. What is it? It's like a miniature skyscraper. Come on. The elevator's here, huh? Don't say you want to take a break, right? Oh, that's right. What? What could be this building be like this? Uh, here we are. This place is. Yep. Will that be two for the day? Please. This way, please. I knew it. The workers here are all dressed as maids. This is a maid cafe. Here's your menu. Thank you. Please call me when you've made your choice. Okay. I see. So this is the infamous maid cafe. Wow. <laughs> you look so humbled. I was just thinking how classy these maid cafes are for giving you a glass of water even before you order. That's not a maid cafe thing. All restaurants in Japan do that. Huh? Really? Yeah, water, tea, and a hand wipe are the basics of Japanese hospitality. Oh, I see. Japan really is attentive to your needs. Anyway, I heard the food here is really tasty, so why not try some? Oh, oh, oh sure. Have you decided? Hmm, I'll have the daily special. How about you? Um, I'll have the thing in the photo here, the egg thing. That's omu rice. Okay, one daily special and one omu rice. Drinks are free at lunchtime. Can we get that? Um, yes. Coffee, please. We'll have a coffee and an Earl Grey tea for after the meal. As you wish. Ah, and I'd also like um, one of these cakes. One cake for after meal, as you wish. I just heard that the cakes here were really good. I have an extra stomach for sweets. An extra stomach? You know, it goes to a different place. Ah, a different place. Not really different, just different. Come on, stop asking such complicated questions. <laughs> but I'm not the one who brought it up. Ah, it's fine. If you want to eat the cake, eat cake. I don't mind. But I don't want you to think I'm a pig or something, huh? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for your way. One daily special and one humor rice. Whoa, this looks great. Yeah, let's eat. Yep, that's tough again. Nom 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 nom. Ah, it's rice wrapped in an egg. And the rice is flavored too. Is this ketchup? Wow, is this so good? Oh, you never eaten humor rice before? Nope. This is must be a Japanese thing. I've never heard of it in any other country. Really? But I don't think Japan invented it. It must exist in Europe and America. But I've never seen it there. Omu rice? The name is kind of strange, isn't it? I didn't mention it. The rice is obvious enough, but what's the omu from? Probably omelette, right? Omelette, yeah. Right, it's a bit like that thing that we talked about earlier, right? That's true. Now that you mention it. Yes. Now that I think about it, there are an awful lot of words we borrow from English to make our own. That's true. But I think Jap Japan's tendency to borrow things from other countries is what makes it interesting. Really? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me, there's something I've been wondering. This is a maid cafe, right? Yes, it is. Isn't it obvious from the way they're dressed? Normal cafes don't have waitresses dressed up as maids. I know, but I've always heard that the maid cafes, they would call you master when you meet that, meet you. Oh, that's right. I think most maid, ca maid cafes will greet you with the phrase, Welcome home, master. Some of them will write phrases on your omu rice and ketchup or play games with you, sing songs on the stage, and or have their picture taken with you. But this place doesn't do any of that. Really? Why not? Since this is restaurant is that, and maid, and maid, as maid cafes go, what does that word mean? Uh, it's like traditional is the right word. It's been around for a long time. Oh, I see. Wow. Bastidus, what food and a calming atmosphere and a good place to relax, huh? That's a restaurant's concept. There's a lot of maid cafes around these days, and they all supply different amusing services. But this place doesn't do any of that. They're continuing on the way they always have. So this place where you can get a taste of refinement in a bustling town of Akihabara. That's why I took you here when I figured you need a rest. Maybe you would have preferred a more lively place? No, not, not at all. I mean, lively places are fun too, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested, but having a nice quiet lunch where we can talk is nice too. It's a good change of pace. Really? That's good. Thank you for saying that. Um, Akira looks so kind right now. Huh, what is it? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Here you are, your after-dinner coffee, Earl Grey tea, and your cake. Wow, this looks great. Um, uh, it's so good. An extra stomach. Huh, what was that? No, nothing. Oh, yeah. That reminds me, do you spend a, spend a lot of time in this otaku, I mean subculture? Huh? Why would you think that? Well, when I said I wanted to go to Akihabara, you immediately volunteered to show me around. You knew where the anime stores were and this maid cafe too, so I was just thinking, is it weird for a woman to be an otaku? 
Weird, why do you ask? Well, I know there's more awkward or more awareness about them nowadays, but a lot of people still think girls who like anime and manga are weird. Some people are actively disgusted by them, so I don't think you need to worry about that, huh? Well, everyone has their own hobbies and likes, right? And it's not for everyone, anyone to else to pass judgment on. No matter what you like, you're still Akira, right? Eh, that's true. Okay, I understand. I'm still Akira, so there's nothing to worry about. That's the way, anyway. Anyway, I like those things too, so I'm glad we like the same things, you know? Horn Shack. Uh, that reminds me, you like history, right, Akira? History, not especially, but I don't hate it either. Why do you ask? Well, you knew all about the origin of Akihabara, right? So I just figured you... Oh, I just looked it up, that kind of stuff, so I could give you a nice tour. Really? Oh, no, not like that. That kind of thing is just common knowledge. Oh, uh, yeah, th that, this cake is really good. God, we jump from, like, one thing to another immediately. This cake is really good. Hmm, I sure love tea. This is just awkward. This is awkwardness. 1,100 yen for the Omuris lunch set, huh? Oh no, we better get going. Yeah, we better leave the May Cafe. We've got a lot more sightseeing to do. I also need to start dinner preparation, so uh, can you go around to the other May, ca May Cafes by yourself if you want? I said I won't. Huh, <laughs> no need to force it. I'm not forcing it. Whatever you say, we'll leave it at that for now. Anyway, let's go home. Sure. Akihabara, what an interesting town. I hope I can come back here someday. Maybe with Akira again. Huh, <laughs> not likely. Riding the train, riding the train, riding the train, riding the train. La la la, wow, la la la. Oh my, you seem so enraptured with Akira. Ah, uh, no way, that's not true. It's just it's the first time I've watched her cook, so you seem so at ease with it. Oh, I see, Akira makes dinner like that every day. Every day? Yes, our parents are always busy with work, they come home late, so once we were old enough, Akira started cooking every day. Hmm, I see. Yesterday, I was surprised to hear Akira was such a good cook. But now that I see her in action, it seems completely natural. Maybe Akira is more feminine than I thought. Hmm, but why just Akira? As the older sister, wouldn't it be your responsibility to do the cooking? Um, well... As you suggest, I did attempt it at first, but... But... Akira said she didn't want to leave it all to me. That's... Come on, it's not like it matters. Now let's go see what's on TV. Huh? Hmm... That's strange, I thought we had some left. What's wrong, Akira? The ingredients for dinner, I didn't buy any since I figured we had enough in the fridge, but it looks like I was wrong. Oh, uh, what should I do? I can't- I can finish without it, but I'll lack a taste of a little. You want me to go pick some up? Mm, I think so, do you mind? No, not at all. Wait, you're going shopping now? Well, yes. By yourself? Mm, yes, why? Are you crazy? That's dangerous. What? Come on, it's dark out there. It's dangerous for a girl to walk around alone at this time of night. Don't be silly, it's not dangerous at all. Yes it is, I'll go instead. Do you even know where to go or what to buy? Well, Akira could tell me. Yeah, um, oage, oagi, or whatever. Thinly sliced deep fried tofu, often used in soups or as a wrapper for sushi or rice. Yeah, that stuff. That's why I was gonna go. Then I'll go with you, then we'll solve the problem, right? I suppose so, well, let's do it. Then I have no reason to refuse. That's that then. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Thank you, you're very reliable. And if anything goes wrong, I'll protect you. I'll be your shield. Oh god, it's so fucking terrible. All of it's so bad. So, huh? Do you see anyone who might want to cause me harm? No, not at the moment. Not just that, this place is incredibly peaceful late at night. I told you, didn't I? I said it would be fine, but... Obviously, crimes do occur in Japan, and it is more dangerous at night than in the day, but it's still not really late to, enough to worry. Even then, as long as you're a little careful, you probably won't get into too much trouble. Oh, I see. It is even this late at night, there are young girls in short skirts walking all over. This country really is that safe? I kind of regret acting like I could be her cruel bodyguard now. But, huh? No matter how safe you think it is, things are never 100%, you know? Having such a wonderful bodyguard today makes me feel perfectly safe. Thank you. Oh, Makoto. Let's see. Yep, that stuff. The stuff we came here to buy. Yeah, cool, we found it. That's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Okay, let's head back. Uh, let me carry the bags. Oh, thank you. I can't refuse such a sweet offer. It's nothing. 
That reminds me, you're good at English, you know, Makoto. Really? Thank you. Hearing you say that makes all my studying feel worthwhile. Can I ask you something? Why are you studying English? Well, no particular reason for it. I just thought it'd be a nice skill to have for when I look for a job and would open up lots of opportunities in the future. That's about it. Oh, I see. Are you disappointed? Were you expecting a more noble reason? No, not at all. Whatever your reason doesn't change the fact that you're good at it. Besides, it's because of that that we were able to get to know each other. Hmm, that's true. Yeah, that stuff, or the, the thing that you say when you get back home. There you go. And the other thing that when you announce your home. Here, I bought this for you. Thank you. I'll get things ready, so you wait here. That reminds me, Akira's bad at English. One's good at cooking and bad in English, and the other one's bad at cooking and good at English. It's pretty mysterious to have sisters so opposite like that. I don't know why that's fucking mysterious. Sisters are a lot of times completely different from one another. What the fuck? <laughs> Yawn! Oh no, walking around Jay has made me exhausted. I guess it's true that spring in Japan is really cold. Is pretty cold. Good thing I brought some cold winter clothes. But I hear it's hot and muggy in the summer with a lot of sun. If I come in the summer, I'll have to prepare for that. Though you can even buy suntan lotion in Kunabi come in a company or whatever convenience store. So there's plenty I can buy after I get here. Theirs are open 24 hours and they have a huge selection. They really are convenient. Yay, day two. They could have like a little jingle play here when we get to like the day two like thingy. 